What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and to another player breakdown slash review. It's Friday, and we're going to be taking a look at the European Club Championship players. So I've already done the player of the week here. It's a fairly okay selection if you're a newcomer, but other than that, if these players are tickling your fancy, right, there is a couple of good lads in here, right? Uh, I think that if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably will have a couple of these players, but... One player that I definitely want to talk about is Tell, right? So we're going to have a look at him in a second. He's an absolute insane card. We also have Galeno, or Galeno. You say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, he's a fantastic card as well. Rudiger, always one of my favorite destroyers. Jao Felix and Hakimi and Alvarez and Trossard. There's some good cards in here, lads. I'm not going to lie. There's some better cards in here than there was in the Player of the Week. I think the Player of the Week now at the moment are, are slightly weak, right? But bear in mind that we are going to be getting new cards next week. Um, so you're going to have European club selection midfielders, we're going to do a preview of those, and of course you're also going to get an Italian league selection guardians, so you've got these players that are going to be tied in with these showtime players, so they're going to have showtime guardian skill or the defensive skill fortress uh, depending on what they do, so just bear that in mind that there is other cards coming, there's going to be a lot of new cards coming, if you are a newcomer you've got limited coins, you're staying free to play then is it worth spinning for these, okay? So we're going to kick off with our right back and our attacking midfielder Stengs. I'll just get rid of this here. So this is a whole player Stengs. Again, these guys are a dime a dozen, lads. Yes, he has one touch pass and double touch. But for me, there's just so many players now that you can get that are attacking midfielder, whole players or creative playmakers that can do a job. You know, he's got fairly mid acceleration at 85. Yes, he'll get the boost. But he's not going to get a boost to anything else. And because you can't really do anything with these cards, this is what you get with these cards. You can't add additional skills. You can't do anything like that. You can't retrain them or reset them. So, yeah, I would definitely want that type possession and acceleration a little bit higher. So, for me, he's a bit of a bust. We'll leave Tell for a minute because he's definitely one of the picks of the packs. Uh, we've also got Boy. So, Boeing 767 or whatever they're called, the plane. This guy attacks like a plane, lads. He moves like a plane. He's fast. 95 speed 92 acceleration i don't know where i was going to that analogy lads it's early leave me be but anyway dribbling at 75 again just takes it down now he's kind of like what i would call a two-way player right so he's got one touch pass he's also got pinpoint cross and long throw yeah i mean if you slot him in i still think that wan is the best defensive right back in the game at the moment and i would say davies is the best left back that are just standard cards you can obviously throw in Hakimi, you can throw in Cancelo, you can throw in a few of those boys. Not a bad option if you do spin in the pursuit of somebody else and you get him. We also have our rudimentary goalkeeper. I'm not going to spend too much time on him. Any goalkeeper that you get, you should be playing with one of the top five goalkeepers. They're super cheap to buy. They'll make a huge difference in your squad. And even at that, you will still concede stupid goals and goals one-on-one -on -one against a good player. So it doesn't matter who you have between the sticks. We also have Mendez. So this guy is your traditional box-to-box, -box, but he doesn't have high defense. And this is everything that I avoid in a defensive kind of box-to-box, -box, right? You definitely need more defensive more defensiveness to him or defensive capabilities to him. The rest of his stats are kind of mid. Even with his track back, that's not going to really make a big difference on this card if you're playing him as a CMF. Now, I do like him as a, like a right midfielder uh, because he's got really good passing. That's probably the position for him with a box-to-box. -box, and he also has long-range shooting, chip shot control first time, pinpoint crossing and true passing. So I do like him as a right midfielder, but as a box-to-box -box CMF, even standard cards are better than him, such as Borella or somebody like that. Um, we also have this guy, Galeno. So Galeno is a fantastic player, lads. He goes to 99 and, 9 and 100 acceleration with the boost, right? So if you get this card, you know that you're going to have one of the fastest players in the game. Now, he's down as a creative playmaker because he can play left wing, right wing, or left mid. So his play style kind of contradicts what, what, what his strengths are. The one big factor in this card, lads, is the balance, right? His balance and tight possession are very low. And for me, that is a bit of a warning sign as to how he will control when he gets a bit tired. His stamina is good, but how he will control when he gets a bit tired. Plus, you can't add one touch pass or double touch to this guy. So he is basically a Dama Triore. Um, like he's just pure speed and no real trickery, right? We also have Trossard here, who is again a fantastic player. Kind of is uh, better played through the middle, I would say. You know, he's he's small, but he's kind of like Romario. He's got 88 dribbling. His tight possession and balance are quite low for that type of role. So if you are playing him as a winger, his dribbling is nice. His acceleration is nice. His balance is nice. His tight possession is still okay for a winger if you're going to be cu cutting in with him. 
And of course, as well, he does have pinpoint crossing. So I probably would play him out wide um, if that was the option that you want to have. He's not a bad option. I mean, all of those guys, if you get them, are, are pretty decent, right? Even Rudiger. Rudiger has always been one of my favorite destroyer center backs. There was a card on the market before of Rudy, and it was insane, even without blocker. Now, he is he doesn't have blocker on this card either. That makes a little bit of a difference with the new gameplay stuff. Um, but physical contact, tackling, and aggression are going to be in 90s. And, of course, his speed is going to be 80 with acceleration nearly at 75. Uh, so I do think he will be a very strong card just not as strong as he was in eFootball 2022 or 3 but if you do get him try him out you won't be disappointed and also we have Tell so this guy lads has literally been like in scintillating form for me on my road to glory right absolutely unbelievable player he's down as a super sub I'd say he's probably the best super sub in the game at the moment I would say if you're looking for a standard super sub card you can get Kiesa but this guy Tell lads is insane his runs that he makes are ridiculous for somebody that only has attack and awareness 80. His ball control is low. His tight possession and balance are quite low. But playing him as a center forward, lads, he is unbelievable. He just bangs in goals left, right, and center. Now, he's down as a whole player, but I would still play him through the middle as a CF and build your kind of uh, attacks towards him in the second half to bring him on as a sub. He's a, br a brilliant, brilliant card if you do manage to get him. We also have Zhao Felix. So, Joe Felix to me is like Salah, right? I have never been able to play with Salah. I've never been able to recommend Salah. But Joe Felix, I think, is kind of in a similar position. He has brilliant skills, brilliant ability, brilliant stats. Everything is brilliant about him. Um, and especially since he's moved to Barca, he's probably going to be on better form than he was last season. Double touch, soul control, heel trick, one, tr one touch pass, true pass and outside curler, cut behind and turn, sombrero. And he also has heading and Marseille turn so he does have a lot of unique and varied player skills 92 dribbling that's going to go up 88 possession tight possession with the right manager is going to go to 90 you're also going to have his acceleration at 90 nearly and his finishing at nearly 85 it's a perfect card I will be playing him through the middle lads I will be playing him as the perfect AMF absolutely insane even though he's down as a prolific winger that's the only slight on this card if you do spin for him and then we have Alvarez so Alvarez is kind of a player as well that the stats don't really tell the, the whole story about this guy, right? He is kind of a really nice attacking midfielder as well. And it's finally nice to see him get rewarded with an actual accurate card as to what his role is at City this season. So he's got ball control, brilliant. He's also got acceleration, brilliant. And he's got finishing that goes to 88 with the boost, which is, you know, awesome for a card like this. That is predominantly a build-up card, right? So he's down as a whole player. He's got a wavering form. He's got brilliant player skills, as you see there. A lot of shooting skills and one-touch pass and pinpoint crossing. He can play anywhere across the right side of the pitch. And, of course, the best thing about this guy is the acceleration, balance, and tight possession. For an attacking midfielder, being able to shoot is definitely a huge thing when you are playing an, uh, like a formation that you need support up front. And then last but not least, we have Hakimi, who's on A rating this week as well, down as a right back. I still think Hakimi's best position is playing as a wing back, similar to how I play Roberto Carlos. So you're getting lots of crosses in. This guy does have pinpoint crossing. He also has one touch pass and outside curler. So you can literally spread the ball around like 100% Irish butter lads. It'll be beautiful to pass the ball around with him, especially that he only has 78 lofted pass, which would go to a 90. But it's all about speed and disrupting wingers. That's all it is. You want to get back and help out your defense if you're playing a three at the back, if you're playing a five at the back. Um, Hakimi will be the man for the role and even as a 4-4-2 like a flat 4-4-2 he has enough about him defensively and going forward that this is a really really nice card especially if you're starting out your eFootball dream team journey so that is it for me lads as I said we will be back with some more videos quite soon until next time don't forget to subscribe let me know if you spin or skip and I'll talk to you in a bit peace